For both guys, you all obviously played a pretty tough non-conference schedule. How do you think that's prepared you all for SEC play, and just how do you feel about your chances of winning the title? Because it looks like it's pretty wide open with, with several real good teams. I feel like we played a bunch of good teams in non-conference. Um, I think we played some of the top teams in the country, you know, North Carolina, Oklahoma, those type of teams. So I think um, this is getting us ready for SEC play. Uh, no game is going to be a cupcake game. We're going to have to go out and it's going to be a war every game in SEC. So I think we're prepared for it. I think we had a great um, off season. I mean, not an off season, preseason schedule. It was just a great experience and learned a lot of lessons from those games and just keep moving forward. I think we got a pretty good chance of uh, winning a lot of games in the conference. You just got to keep playing how we're playing and keep the same energy. Uh, Jalen, this is a, as a junior college transfer in general, and you in particular, how much difference does it make your, the second year as opposed to your first one as far as how much better you feel that you are and most play, Juco transfers are? I think um, it's a better feeling than last year, just um, getting the experience from last year, the intensity of conference play and just – having a sense of urgency every game and just got to come out and compete every game. And it just paid out a whole lot. For both you guys, um, I mean, obviously the team's assist to turnover ratio is really good, but, but Daryl's really been taking good care of the ball. He's got almost a three to one <coughs> ratio. What, what do y'all think about Daryl's uh, passing and how has he improved since last year? And has he surprised you at all? No, I don't think he's surprised at all. He do it in practice. So I think just um, making plays for himself and, each, and everybody else and just moving out the ball or just making a simple pass and a simple play. And it's just it's, we expect that from him, and I hope we keep doing it. He's doing a good job at it. You want to take a two, Trey, because you're a good passer. What, what, what's your thoughts on Daryl, how he's improved? His uh, yeah, when teams try to um, play Daryl the way they play him, um, it opens a lot of other guys up, including me and JB. And um, we see it, like JB said, we see it every day in practice, so it's not, it's not nothing new to us. Um, we know he can pass the ball. Y'all know he can score, but we also know he can pass the ball as well. Um, Jalen, Tennessee, you know, the Vols, you being from Tennessee, do you get extra hype for this game? And really for both of y'all, they're ranked. And you guys have beaten some ranked teams, obviously. The only team to beat OU and you beat Minnesota. But you guys are right on the verge of getting ranked. I think if you beat Tennessee, you think you'd get in. I guess you never know. But um, how excited are you guys to open up a league play with such a marquee game? I think it's big for us, big for the university, and just had it hype for the game, especially on a Saturday. So I think it's going to be a great game. Um, we're ready for the game. I know a lot of fans are ready for it, so we're ready to just start the conference play. What's your thoughts on that? You know, big big conference opener. Well, like you said, um, they're ranked. Um, they've been winning a lot of games. Um, they're a good team, and uh, we're excited to play. But we don't worry about rankings. We just worry about coming out and trying to win the next game. And um, now the next game on the on our schedule. So we're looking forward to it.